In this video, I will show you my favorite add-ons for Blender. And it's going to be a healthy mix of uh, both the free add-ons and the paid add-ons. So uh, let's get started. The uh, first add-on on the list is the Molecular Script add-on, which allows you to uh, get simulations where the particles collide. And you can't really get that in the default particle settings in Blender. So you can just uh, download this free add-on online and uh, get the particles that collide. And here are some of the results from uh, when I was using this add-on. And I will actually make a tutorial on this add-on next week, where you will get this uh, result. And a uh, key variable in this add-on is the uh, broken variable, which controls how much the uh, particles can uh, scratch before the links are broken, which uh, gives you these uh, different results. And this is the result of next week's tutorial. And it's actually very simple to set up. So uh, look forward to that. And then next on the list, we have the human generator, which is an add-on which allows you to uh, generate humans, all customizable, both with different races, genders, and uh, customizable features. So I'm just going to uh, quickly go through the uh, different customizations. So we can uh, customize the body, the skull, the eyes, ears, nose. In my opinion, each of these uh, customizable characters look just as great as any of the uh, two or $300 characters that you can buy on CG Trader and so on. And the add-on just costs a fraction of that. So it's pretty good. And then the next add-on we're going to take a look at is an add-on that I created. And it's a music visualization add-on where you just select a song and it's automatically going to generate a simulation for the music. So basically what the add-on does is to generate a sphere and a background and then adding some modifiers to the sphere and then baking the music to the various modifiers. And I think it works pretty great. And then next on the list we have the Botanic Q add-on and the reason why I chose this add-on over all of the other nature add-ons is because it has both a large variety of trees for different seasons as well as the option to add grass with uh, flowers and uh, so on. So as you can see there's a large variety of trees, flowers, plants, pots, tropical trees and uh, so on. And the uh, grass is very easy to add to uh, surfaces, as you can see. If you want animated trees, you have to go for the vegetation add-on. But I prefer this add-on because I mostly use these nature add-ons for grass. And uh, this one does grass well. Okay, and then next we have the free add-on called Archimesh which is great for uh, creating windows and uh, so on. And this one is pre-installed into Blender. You just have to enable it. Archipack is a similar add-on, which is uh, also pre-installed with Blender, which allows you to create uh, fences and uh, so on. So as you can see, you can get pretty cool results with the uh, pre-installed add-ons in Blender as well. And uh, this is the render result of uh, one of my tutorials using these two add-ons. So if you're into interiors and architecture, this is definitely an add-on to uh, check out. Next on the list is the uh, transportation add-on, which has a lot of uh, different vehicles, where most of them are already rigged. So you can get straight to animating them. And the uh, price of the add-on is about the same as you usually have to pay for just one vehicle on CG Trader and uh, so on. 
So with around 60 vehicles added to the add-on so far, with the new vehicles continuously being added to the add-on, I would say that this is the best vehicle add-on for Blender. The ability to change the car paint and the background image also make this feel like a very complete package. And then next on the list, we have the Node Wrangler, which automates a lot of uh, things in Blender, like adding uh, PBR textures to your objects. And this is a free add-on that is included with uh, Blender. So uh, you can just add your texture images with normal maps and so on. And it sets up all of it for you in the Node Editor. So uh, definitely an add-on to check out, and I have a uh, three-minute tutorial on my channel on how to use it. And if you want to make it even easier for yourself to add the textures, normal maps, and uh, so on, you should check out the Extreme PBR add-on. If you use a uh, lot of textures in your scenes in uh, Blender, this is going to save you a uh, lot of time. And then next on the list, we have the Maths Expression add-on, which is a free add-on that I use to create Mandelbulb animations, and I really recommend you checking it out. I also have a tutorial on the topic on my channel. And then next on the list, we have the Flip Fluids add-on, which allows you to create much more complex fluid simulations than what you will get with the default uh, fluid physics. The baking with this add-on is also much faster than what you get with the default fluid physics. The uh, user interface is very similar to the default fluid physics, so uh, you will get used to it really fast. And that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and a lot of new Blender tutorials are on the way, so uh, make sure to like and subscribe.